hello guys and welcome back so as you know that now the player can take damage from the zombie so now the next thing which we will be doing is to show the blood screen effect so whenever the zombie hits the player we will show the blood screen effect okay so for showing the blood screen effect we can either use some sprite or you can say some image okay which will show the blood screen effect but what I will be doing I will create a volume profile for the blood screen effect okay so right here let's uh, go inside the volume then select this global volume name this as blood screen effect okay now this is our volume what we can do now is right here we will create a new volume okay so you can either select volume from here but we will be creating a new volume okay as you can see it created this blood screen effect volume right here automatically now before adding anything first of all let's open up the player right here click on camera and then inside the camera make sure that you enable this post processing okay and when you enable that after this let's click on the blood screen effect right here click on this add overwrite and first of all add tone making tone mapping actually enable the mood and right here select this ACES then after this add a bloom and in the bloom enable the first two threshold and intensity make this 0 0.43 and this to 1 okay and when you increase it as you can see this is the bloom okay so I will leave this as 1 okay you can choose this according to your own liking but I will choose 1 after this I will go inside post processing and in here I will select this Okay, and right here enable the color the intensity smoothness and rounded and in the color I will change the hexadecimal value to 930 COC this is actually a 0 okay not O so it is this red color then let's make the intensity as uh, 0.3 Okay, and let's make the smoothness as 0.4 let's make it rounded as you can see it is showing this red color around the screen okay as you can see now after this we will add a depth of field and inside the depth of field we will enable the mode and in here we will select the second mode and right here we will enable all of these things okay make this true make the start as uh, 78 the end will be 165 and the max radius will be 1.3 okay then after this we will add a chromatic and right here enable the intensity and make this as 1 Okay, so now as you can see this is the effect as you saw in the introductory video okay this damage effect okay so now we have this effect right here we can enable and disable it whenever the zombie hit us okay now let's uh, go ahead open up the zombie AI script okay and right here at the end we will create a reference to our blood screen effect so we will say public game object blood screen effect okay and also we will create a private game object and this will be by the name of instantiated object okay now if we scroll down right here after this attack with delay we'll 
create a method by the name of instantiate object okay let me remove the d from the end and right here let's make this capital okay in here what we will do we will instantiate the blood screen effect and store the reference to it okay so we will say instantiate object equals to instantiate blood screen effect okay so as i told you this will instantiate the blood screen effect and also store the reference to it after this what we will do we will create a method in order to delete this blood screen effect okay so we will say delete object and in here we will first of all check if the blood screen effect is instantiated so we will say if instantiated object is not equals to null okay so if it is null first of all we will destroy the blood screen effect so we will say destroy instantiated object and then after this we will set the reference to null okay so actually inside the if condition we will say instantiated object equals to null that is it so first of all let me tell you the reason behind doing all of this is i have tried uh, when I was creating this game, I have tried enabling and disabling this blood screen effect. But as you know that we will be also uh, spawning the zombies. So if this uh, blood screen effect is right here in the hierarchy, then of course it will not be added automatically to the reference. Okay, to this reference. Okay, so I have tried tagging this blood screen effect as blood screen effect, and then in the zombie I script. I type a code which goes like this if anything that is on the blood screen effect it will be equals to this reference but I don't know why for some reason it didn't work okay I have tried using the layer the tag okay I've tried everything but it doesn't work so then I decided to instantiate this blood screen effect whenever the zombie hit and then delete it after few seconds or you can say few milliseconds okay so let's complete our whole script now right here after this attack with delay now we will create a private enumerator by the name of activate blood screen effect and in here we will first of all instantiate the blood screen effect then as i told you we will show this only for some time so we will say shield return new wait for seconds and we want to wait till the attack delay okay and then we will call the delete object that is it now if we scroll up right here we leave a comment to show the blood screen effect so now we will say start coroutine and in here we will pass the activate blood screen effect and that is it so if we save the script and get back to unity let's select the blood screen effect first of all activate it then in the zombies folder let's drag and drop it in order to make the prefab of this okay then let's click on the blood screen effect click on prefab unpack completely and you can either delete it or you can also deactivate it okay 
you can do both then click on zombie and now in this reference we will drag and drop the prefab which we created because as i told you we will be instantiating it now okay you can actually delete this as well now because we don't want it to show right here okay so now uh, as you know that the blood screen effect will show till the attack delay value okay which is 1.5 okay we will be changing this attack delay according to the zombie attack animation but for now let's just leave it as it is and test out our code how does it looks okay so if we now get closer to the zombie and you will notice when the zombie attacks as you can see it created this blood screen effect clone and after uh, 1.5 second it can delete as you can see okay so now we have a beautiful blood screen effect as well or you can say a scary blood screen effect so once we have this i think now we are ready to add animation to our zombie but we're gonna do that in the next video